Welcome back. A number of Premier League clubs are refusing to let their players wear rainbow shoelaces sent to them to raise awareness of homophobia in football. Although a minority of clubs and players will change their normal bootlaces this weekend, others say a serious campaign message has been lost in guerrilla marketing. Well, Sky Sports correspondent Paul Kelso reports. Asking Premier League footballers to wear multicoloured laces could have been a simple, powerful symbol of solidarity with homosexual players. Instead, football and the campaign group Stonewall have tied themselves in knots. One of the game's most controversial figures is backing the campaign. It's a subject that's close to my heart and I just felt it, it's important for a, for a modern day footballer to speak about things that have been in the past sort of deemed taboo topics. Robbie Rogers is one of only two gay footballers to come out in English football. Now based in the US, he believes the English game has a problem. I don't know, I think that the football culture in England, in the UK, is a bit still behind in, uh, you know, I still think a bit more homophobic and a bit more racist than it is here. I don't know why that is, but for some reason I just, I felt that way, I felt that way. But Stonewall's campaign, and particularly the support of bookmaker Paddy Power, has proved too much for some clubs. The gay rights group Stonewall has asked Premier League players to wear coloured laces. While we fully endorse the principles behind this particular campaign, um, I think we have a number of issues with it in its current form, uh, not least the tone of the messaging, the lack of consultation, um, and the seemingly commercial uh, part of it too. Um, as such, we're not planning to support it this weekend. The Premier League says it's up to individual clubs. But only Everton have embraced the campaign, with the majority of their rivals suspecting they've been ambushed. These Liverpool fans share those concerns. The club wants to back it, well the players should back it. The club doesn't want to back it, the players don't back it. As a stance, it's, it's well worth getting behind, but I think probably the fact that Paddy Power are backing it sort of takes away from that. Stonewall defend their campaign. There is a debate about whether this is, you know, to everyone's taste, but actually it's capturing the attentions of thousands, tens of thousands of fans and players. Football has bowed to pressure in the past. Poppies were added to players' shirts on Remembrance Weekend after a vigorous media campaign. No such luck for Stonewall. Having seen their campaign tripped up, they'll hope football's stance on homophobia does not come undone. Paul Kelso, Sky News.